Hello, and welcome back for the third time to video game. I hope this one works. <laughs> Hello, folks. Uh, <laughs> we are playing Clock Tower. Technically Clock Tower 2, but it's just called Clock Tower in the United States. I've never played this, so this should be interesting. Uh, let's make sure it looks like audio is coming through correctly. And we're good to go. All right. Okay. Burp. Now loading. Okay. Start button. New game. So I've played Clock Tower 3. Oh. Uh, prologue. Hmm, maybe we're playing as a different character. Hello, folks. Rusili, Breeze, and Monochrome Knight. Love the name. Welcome. Um, I've played Clock Tower 3 and I've played Haunting Ground, which is like the spiritual successor. Uh, but I don't think either of them is really in the same style as the previous games from what I've seen. So this should be interesting. This is also a sequel to, the ga to a game that we never got in the U.S. officially, so... <laughs> You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. 
<laughs> yeah, the previous game was about Helen and murders that happened around her, so they just jumpy right into this. <laughs> Hello. Let me move this. One of these days I'll have to figure out how to emulate the first game. I know fans have translated it. <laughs> okay, sure. I can get a new job. Oh, I'm playing as him? I have a feeling he's going to die very fast. Oh, it's a point and click. Okay. Hello, Hobbit Potato. A file cabinet. What's this? That happened very fast. There's a memo between the pages. You found hint one. Okay, we'll read it. Have you seen the movie Clock Tower is inspired from? I have not. Faint smell of ammonia. A pair of scissors is on the desk. <laughs> they are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. They are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Well, that got very intense very fast. Um, all right. How do I menu... How does one look at the hint that I picked up? I guess I don't. I guess I'm not allowed to read. That's the thing. He's a professor, but he tragically can't read. Alrighty. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Yeah, okay, bro. Hello. I think that's everything in this room. Can I leave? I think this came out, what, 1990-something? It doesn't look bad. It's more 3D than I thought it'd be. The first game was pretty flat. I've been most doing mostly criminal psychology. You know, I've mostly been doing criminal psychology lately. You know. Hmm, the staff is still here. Okay. Ah, uh, computer. I can't interact with it. Hello, lady. Is that a skull? Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Yeah, it's because I'm a douchebag. Hmm. Intriguing. Fascinating. She was angry? Helen's desk. I'm going to rifle through it and steal her shit. Hello, sir. Scissorman's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. Ha! Ah, he stole that from Jason. Alright. I guess I'll just go. Hey, Marianor. Yeah, freaking Origins is. Em the emulator wouldn't work properly. Or the game, I think, was messed up. I don't know. <sighs> There's still something I need to do in here. Yeah, I think possibly the ISO I have is messed up, so I'm gonna have to find another one. Which means I'm zero for two on freaking programs for Origins. I don't know why I've had such bad luck. How do I get back to where I... Let's look over here. A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Yes, it would. I'm just gonna walk over here. Me and my sassy ascot. Oh, is that the whole room? Our room is only three, three quarters of a room. <laughs> we don't have a back wall. <laughs> um, is there anything else or is that it? Did I just have to look at that weird statue? Hmm. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna see Travis Punch Ghost. Don't we all? <sighs> Did you have an appointment for an interview? There's a, somebody here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I will have to try and figure out what was wrong with that and make it work soon, because I really want to play that game. Did I get the memo, the TPS reports? I picked up a, a note... You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't- What? They're beginning to look like sisters? Is she morphing? 
That's what happens when you live together? Yes, we all know that that happens. They look like sisters. When you live together, you begin to change. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Wow. Yes, you're right. You douche. Um, okay. Yeah, Clock Tower 1 or Clock Tower 2, depending on where you're from. I guess I'm gonna have a walkthrough open because, uh, I'm not patient with click point-and-click games. I get so easily frustrated, so. Okay, is this Clock Tower 2 or is this Clock Tower 1? I guess I'll just search for Clock Tower 1. Yes, it's the one with the scissors on the front, 1997. Okay, walk through. All right. Give me the prologue, please. Okay, the game will start with a cutscene. You should examine the couch. This lets you leave the room. All right, talk to Danny three times. Examine the computer. Uh, okay, I have to talk to these people multiple times? I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay, too. That was incredibly important information. I had to know that before I left the room. I mean, I just, how could I continue on with my life without knowing that about her? Hey, Phil, Delvin. Oh my god, what else have I missed? Talk to Beth three times. Examine the mask. I did. Examine the computer. I think I did. Alright, let's try examining another computer. Okay, no, that's the freaking mask again. People certainly do buy stupid things. It's true. All right, can I? Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower. Story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. All right, I think that's what I needed to trigger. Hello, folks. Aw, thank you, uh, F FNN. I hope I said that right. <laughs> you have to log into MySpace. Oh my god, you're right. I've still missed something. Clock, talk to Danny. I did that. I did that. Do I have to talk to him last? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Huh, I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Huh? Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real. So wait, people were murdered, but he doesn't think the murderer is real? I'm confused. I'm free from my prison, yes! Hello, Mayfly, welcome. All right, when does someone come to murder me? Because I'd like to experience that, honestly. This guy deserves it. I've decided that. Professor! A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Cool. Thank you. All right. Elevator? No? Yes? No, can't elevator. I guess I go through this door. He's trying to get his steps in. <laughs> Phil. You know, this game would be fun if I was allowed to murder people with giant scissors. Where's that video game? Let me be the murderer. I mean, I guess that's just dead by daylight, isn't it? Can't go that way. Am I supposed to go to the toilet? There's no team scissorman. Maybe that's the door I need. Can I... Like, what the hell? Maybe I just keep talking to this guy? Oh, wow. The next part's important. If you speak to Harris once, you play the game as one character. If you speak to Harris twice, you play as someone else. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. Well, I guess I just locked myself into a different character. It's always so gloomy, that's for sure, but then... Okay! I have no opinions, I guess. 
I just wish it would let me interact with something if I'm very carefully over the button. Press the button. I'm trying to. It will not let me. It's not doing it. Uh. <laughs> it says press the button. I'm pressing the button. Oh my God. I just had to be right just over it. Uh. Before Siren, there was Clock Tower 1 too, right? Hello, Heather. Okay, so they, they said uh, first floor. Oh, that's fun. I love an elevator with no roof. Very safe. All right, let's leave. Professor, I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. Oh yeah, this is in like Sweden or something, isn't it? Or Norway? This is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, oh, I have to I have to talk to him now. Then I'll get right to the point. Is he trying to take Okay. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I love that there's just one more little word. I can't say for sure yet, because the victim's testimony lacks something or other. Oh, thank you, Delvin. Lacks credibility. Why? She was there. Do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? But you just, you just mentioned her. We just saw her. Uh, this uh, translation's a little whack, but it is from 1997. We asked her for an interview, but she refused. I keep talking to you. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you are going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man. Isn't it just a guy with scissors? What's so unbelievable about a guy with scissors? Whether he really exists or not. Could there be a man that owns scissors? That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Oh yeah, you know how people say youngsters? Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Okay, uh, well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a, okay, they're recovering the previous game, a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon, which honestly sounds kind of hilarious. That doesn't make him an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. Did he come from Crystal Lake? But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There is something I must be attending to. Oh, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Why does everyone wear ascots? Sorry, I couldn't be as much help as you hoped, I think it said. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. He is supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Does he have giant scissors? Okay. Uh, what floor was I on? Second floor. Hmm. Hello, folks. Welcome. Enter. Okay. I am going this way and talking. Mm, where'd the dude go? Do I go back in here? Um, I guess I'm gonna talk to you. That's right, I still need to get an expert 
opinion on the statue. Hmm. How do I, where'd the dude go? Where'd the other guy go? Hey, bad, wrong, fun. Is the guy gone? Talk to... Hmm. Where's Harris? Is that Harris? No. Oh. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Mm, mm, mm. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem this has a secret th fourth floor. But it does have a bunch of secret I have to frickin' do things and it doesn't tell me. It just says, figure it out, stupid. That's right, I still need to get an expert. Yeah, okay. Do I need to tell someone to do it? I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. I don't trust butlers at mansions. No, not in horror games. Show it first if he knows anything. Okay, I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. Oh, that's worse. Everybody knows that bad things happen there. No. No. I don't trust butler mansion, man. I'll have Professor Sullivan look at it. It's only the next Clock Tower game after this that's really disappointing. Do you mean Clock Tower 2? Is that the disappointing one? Or do you mean Clock Tower 3? <laughs> the one that I played as a kid and loved to death in spite of all its goofiness. It's incredibly campy and dumb. The plot is not frightening at all, but I love it. A small boy! Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very- You just gave him a name? You just decided your name is Edward now? Okay. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward? Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. But didn't they just say he has amnesia? I'm confused. Yes. Ah, the struggle within. I've never played that one. I'll have to give it a shot at some point. Let's get started. Yes, I will save the data. Is it not? Cannot find memory card, insert memory card. But I have a memory card. That's so weird. That's not good. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I wonder, am I capable of... Let's see, if I go back to the main system, it's not going to let me do it without turning the game off. God damn it. I guess we'll just play as much of the game as we get to today and then probably won't be able to save it because it doesn't recognize my freaking memory card. It's in slot two! Helen isn't home yet, Jennifer. So this is the protagonist from the previous game. I think I will go out for a while. <laughs> Phil! <laughs> oh, Phil. Where shall I go? All right, well, what's the guide say we should do? Um, all right, so we're playing as Jennifer. Where's the scene with Jennifer? There we go. You'll play as Jennifer in her bedroom. Go to the university building. Oh, 
what does it say? University. Go to the university research building. There we go. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. Everyone in this game talks like a robot. And I know it's because it's like 1990s translation, but it's just goofy. I kind of love it. Hmm. Hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. Just the horrible nightmares. <laughs> I just came for a little visit. Ghost Head is basically a schoolgirl gets possessed by a deranged, violent man that likes to harm people. In other words, muse whenever they play a game. Now listen. I don't like harming people. It just inevitably happens. I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Okay. Um. My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I gotta get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. I hate when that happens. Please leave the key in its usual place. I will. Good luck, Helen. All right. So now we're supposed to go to a hotel. That's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. <laughs> Norway International Hotel. Poor child. Is this boy Edward? We've all just decided that's his name now. Hey, Molly. So did they not meet, even though they're both survivors? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognized your face from all the pictures in the paper. My name is Kay. I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I know this. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Okay, so that's where it all happened, I think, right? Maybe? It was, a, it was an orphanage or a school where all this happened. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. <laughs> Say hello, Edward. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Can I talk to him now? It just wants me to talk to her. Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of... What happened? Yes, I've heard. Come here, you. Yes. No. Ugh. Speaking with you might jog his memory. Do we want to jog the child's memory of the terrible nightmares? I was hoping you would come to visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. Hee <laughs> hee. I will come as often as I can. All right, is that everything? Um, I think I keep talking to them. I will must be going. Okay. Sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. University staff housing. No, puppy. Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... Okay, wait, this isn't the front of the house. This is in your house. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. How much time happened between the case and now? Even though it's a big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Oh, no. How old is this girl? How old is this creep who stalked me to my house? What do you say to having dinner with me? Oh, no. I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. That sounds so weird. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Uh, well... The answer is yes. <laughs> to, to, to that question. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> That's it, both. Yes, both. An interview and a date. You cannot have a date and have it be an interview. All right, tee hee, let's go! No, Jennifer. No. This guy's bad news. He's using you. Scenario one, Jennifer Simpson. Yep. 
It's very late. Someone seems to be following me. Oh no! In a video game about scary people? No one's possibly following me. Can't be true. Ugh! No! Well, clearly that reporter is, uh, not okay. He's now needs to be murdered by the scissorman. Wow, she has the tiniest arms. <laughs> oh, there's voice acting! Well, there we go. We got we got our guy. He's here. Please kill the man that's trying to date me even though I'm like 12. Okay, I'm not 12, but is there no way to Okay, jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Lady, is there a way to run? It is very dark. I wish I could uh, see better. Oh, man. Well, we're in it now! The music's pretty fun. Have I played the first game? I haven't. The only games I've played are Clock Tower 3 and Haunting Ground. Uh, I've never played the classic ones. I picked this just because I had it installed already. I don't know. I think I've got the other version somewhere. I can't even see if there's a door! Why is this game so dark? Okay, let's see if my television brightness is low. Because that would definitely do it. Uh, system. No, probably picture. There we go. That'll help. Okay. Open the door! Is that a window? Why are you not doing anything? Well, I'm very dead, probably. Does that not look like a door or something I could go through? Well. The scissor man is definitely going to get me. So that's good. Dead end, ha ha. How do I get out of the menu? <sighs> so does that mean my game's over? Oh my god, no, leave. Get in the elevator faster! Surely if his hands are scissors, he can't... I don't know. Okay, uh... Is this a cutscene? Oh! That can't be good for the blades. Seriously. Um... I guess we're gonna go down to the first floor. No? I guess we'll go to the third floor. I don't know. But this is neat. I'm digging this. It's a, it's definitely like a little rougher than say Haunting Ground with the like clicking aspect. I keep wanting to try and push the stick to run, but of course you cannot. This is not that. But uh, it's not bad. It's just kind of dated. Mario's laboratory. The door is locked. Okay. Um, it wants me to go to the first floor? Hmm. First floor. Alright. Let's see if I can go back to it. I think that's where Scissor Man was, but maybe he's left? Hopefully he doesn't know how to use elevators. Have, uh, we watched Filipino Horror. Oh my god, he does know how! 
No! Why can he use elevators? No! Um, I've watched some Thai horror, Chinese, a lot of Japanese. Um, let's, uh, what's that? Uh, American, some British. That's probably the extent of what I've watched. Hide. Hide. What? What? <laughs> Throwing a sheet on him worked? Amazing! Oh my god. Um, there's a way to play the first one, but you have to play the emulated that's been translated. Yeah, I think I might have it. I just don't have it on my PS3 because I don't think uh, I have an emulator for that system. Hello, Pessoa. So actually, if it's on the SNES, I do have an emulator, so I can probably make it work. I'll have to mess with it later. Alright, first floor. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm digging it. That noise. First floor. I think I'd get frustrated if I didn't have walkthroughs, but that's just because I'm very impatient. I don't like looking for things. Which is funny. Like, I like it in, like, open adventure exploring games, but the point-and-click stuff, I just get bored. Which is why I've never finished, like, any adventure games ever. Okay. Uh, let's see. Run to the right end of the corridor? What's in here? Hello, sir, there's a monster trying to do a murder. Excuse me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. This game doesn't seem to have a sanity meter, does it? Oh my god, what? Aw, oh, frick. Okay, did I scare myself or was that just like, it's gonna tell him I'm down here? Is he gonna like, show up? Sofa probably used for naps. There's a blanket with blood stains on it. Wow, so useful. Thanks. What was that blue? Looked like something showed up over there. Alright, let's leave. Uh... Okay, I need to go back in. There was a key in that room. Oh, the body's gone! That's funny. Key on the table. What is this? It is a key. Awesome, I now have a key. Okay, now we can go. Alright, so I need to use the stairs to go up. Oh no, that's the front entrance. So, cannot leave. Clock tower is really punishing. If you miss a random item in the first level, you get locked out of the good ending. Oh boy. I wonder if I did. Oh well. Okay. Um uh, Go left past the toilet. Go to the room to the left of the toilets. This is where we were earlier, right? Hmm. 
Helen's desk. It's very neatly organized. There is a key. You now have office key. Yay. It's open. Oh no, that wasn't here before. Ah. Come on, who is it? Is it the, the professor guy? I want him to be dead. Oh, she's very upset by this. Is it him? Okay. All right. Oh, interesting. The table, uh, there were the copycat scissors. The scissor man scissors were on the table and now they're not there. Many bottles of medicine. Patience charts. All right, I guess that's all we needed in here. All right. Okay, so I think he wants me to go to the stairs. I guess the stairs over here. Head up one floor to the third floor. Not everyone's bloodthirsty like me. Come on, I'm not bloodthirsty. I am a sweet and innocent angel. Uh, no point in going to the third floor. Go up another floor. There's a red door here. Use the ladder key on the green cupboard and you can escape. Ta-da! What do you know? Use key on cupboard. I would never put that together that I had to use. Well, I guess if it's called ladder key, I might have figured it out eventually. From way up here, is it safe? Well, would you rather stay and have the scissor man scissor you? <sighs> oh. Oh, it's too late. Oops. Nice. Thanks for trying, Faku, but <laughs> it's too late now. I don't know what it was for, but I can't get it. <laughs> All right. Still not gonna let me save, is it? I have a memory card. Why do you hate me? Hmm. <sighs> What in the, uh, is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now, another mass murder? And again, you're saying the murderer is a monster? Well, it's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. Yeah, how are they not suspicious of her yet? <laughs> Scissor Man is back. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now. And rest. We've posted a policeman outside your house. So he can die before you. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. So important, clearly. Jennifer. Helen, it's true. 
It was the scissor man. I know, I believe you, Jennifer. He is just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Except apparently we can't because I missed an item. Oh well. What should I do now? Uh, Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company. Man, it really was hard to, you know, get the good endings in the old days. Dang, I would always get the bad endings. I was never patient enough to look at everything. I wonder what Nolan is doing. Oh, is that the weirdo that flirted with you? Honey, no. Sweetheart, no. The man is the cameraman who is with Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Yay, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan, he just went to look for you. I hope he dies. He is worried about you. Oh, he is. He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again, and if the other... Reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I'll come back later. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. I have a bad feeling that's not going to work for you. I mean, there's a murderer running around and you're just leaving doors unlocked. Well, that's not good. Norway Hotel. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. Clock Tower is Capcom. That's right. Clock Tower is Capcom. What if we got a modern Clock Tower in the modern style of Capcom's games? What they've been doing now. We got Resident Evil 8. Devil May Cry 5. Where is Clock Tower the next one? I know there is no one here. Well, that was an interesting sentence. No, even better. Haunting Ground Remastered. That's what I want. I wonder if Helen is here. Does no one have a cell phone? What year is this? I guess it must be like 80s or something. Hmm. <sighs> Helen, how you doing? Hi, Jennifer. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? It was human entertainment, but they don't exist anymore. So is Capcom who owns it now? I wonder. The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murder. Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Mm. Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to Scissor Man. Yes. That is a natural response to that sentence. Helen, I'll find out who Rick is. Maybe Nolan knows something. Jennifer. Yes. This is how humans talk. Who is Nolan? Ah, he's a creep. Yeah, <laughs> I'd better run along now. Okay. 
Oslo newspaper. I hope Nolan is there. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much. Of course not, because you're not- you're not related to this! I had a hard time finding you. Why were you looking for me? Don't look for me. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Stay away from me. <laughs> do you know a man named Rick? I think he is involved in the clock tower. Case. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. Oh no. I ran into someone who happened to know that. They shot my human stock! I thought I'd go ask him about what he knew about the Barrows family. Um. The series creator had to create a new IP with Nightcry despite wanting to make a new Clock Tower game. That stinks that they wouldn't, like, team up with him and let him do that. Mmm. I do need to try Nightcry at one point. I mean, the one they found at the scene of the murder... I just put my foot down, and I realized my dog is still chilling with us. Oh, sweet baby. I want every clue relating to this case. Let's see if I can get a... Where is puppy? Oh, come on, camera. I won't go any further? No, it's not gonna see you. Lola! Do you see the Lola? There's like an ear. That's all you can see. <laughs> She's sleeping. She says I'm a lazy puppy. Okay. Talk to Nolan. If you sent the statue to Rick earlier and want the good ending, say yes. If you sent the statue to Mr. Sullivan and want the good ending, say no. Um, I think I sent the statue to the library guy. I mean, not that it matters if I... I don't know. Thank you for offering, but Helen is looking. Okay, no problem. But if you ever need help, just let me know. I'm a creepy weirdo who doesn't know you. Okay. Wait, am I Helen now? All right, scenario Helen. How intermission to Helen, I think. Here we go. Uh, I'm confused. Where is her scenario? Ugh, this guide is not very well organized. Let's scroll back up here and see. Where is the... Okay. Helen. Intermission 1, Scenario 1. I think we're at... Are we at Scenario 1? Probably at Intermission 1. Okay, here we go. He is now the head librarian's office. In the library. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, you will then go to the map. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he is now the... Okay, so I already... So I guess I go into the office, maybe? Library. Hmm. This 
guide is super confusing and I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Who are you? If it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense, Bad Wrong Fun. Like, Resident Evil's their thing, and they want that to succeed and be, like, the big horror thing, so they don't want to, like, put any horror, you know, eggs into another basket. I get it. I guess. It just sucks that, like, not even, like, a remaster or a re-release. I just want every video game to be put on the Switch. Is that too much to ask? Clearly. Ugh. <sighs> The reading room, it cannot be opened without a key. Let me see if I search for library. Uh... Okay. I think I found it. Um, uh, talk to Edward. Go right and through the door next to the staircase. Hmm. At least Devil May Cry came back. I'll be honest. I didn't ever think Devil May Cry was coming back. And I was very sad about that. And then it came back in the best way possible. So I will die happy. Devil May Cry 5 is like one of the best video games I've ever played. It's so good. And it's about family. Oh, and punching your uncle and your dad in the face when they're being stupid jerks. I heard what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I heard it was a man with scissors. I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials and look up man and scissors. The reading room is right next door. Surely you will have luck finding man and scissors. The statue. Oh yes, that is it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much. Ball ball. Seeing my older siblings play this and other era, PS2, PS1 era horror games shaped me into a horror gamer. That's funny. Growing up, I, I had no experience with, like, the older sibling playing horror games and watching, which I hear a lot of folks, that was their introduction. Uh, my older siblings were all, well, my one, really, that I, I, I had four, and two of them were, like, heading to college at about the time I could talk. And then the other one was a little younger, and I spent a little more time with uh, before he moved out. Um, and he played Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. I watched him play Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy X, Kingdom Hearts One. I mean, I just, that's where my uh, RPG love came from. And when he left, he left the PS2 and all the games, and that's how I got those. Sadly, he's no longer in contact with the family, but... Ah, doesn't seem to be here. I have good memories of the past. He just doesn't, you know, deserve to be part of my life. Or anyone's life. Some people lose their damn minds. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. <gasps> this is a 50k OTP fanfiction for my faves! I want to read it now, but I can't because I'm being haunted by a scissor man. Devil May Cry is my favorite game about tax evasion after Fallout New Vegas. I mean, I don't know. Dante's so broke. Are you sure he's not still paying his taxes? <laughs> All right, maybe there's a, is there another door down here? It looks like those are the only three shelves I can look at. Um, Go through the first door. You must now find books for Scissor Man. Uh, examine the stepladder. That was a really loud stepladder. Lords of Northern England? I know Virgil's dodging child support. I mean, Virgil took child support from Nero. He was like, listen, I'm gonna have to have that arm back. Yank! <laughs> so, 
what a stupid idiot. Excuse me, the library will be closing shortly. Mm. I see. Ha! <laughs> the way the text is presented is so bad it makes it good. Yeah. This game is fun. It's definitely got its charms. I don't know if I would have been driven enough to- well, I could see myself have gotten into it. I probably wouldn't have been able to finish it. I was never patient enough, really, but I probably would have tried it. Hello, Atris. Uh, that's another game I really want to play again. Seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. I will be the first to die! Oh no, I will go with you. Thank you, please follow me. People talk so naturally in this world. Oh no! Oh dang! Ah, ah. Oh my god! Dang! That was awesome! Though, how that enormous piece of machinery was stuck on his neck and he was still able to say, Ah, my head, it's stuck. How do I... Oh, stairs. Okay. Go through the door you're standing in front of. Click on the lamp. That was pretty cool. I think she's done barking now. Lola! Lola! You no bark! You come here! You come here! I think somebody delivered something. Uh, Lola! You make such noise! Lola! Where'd you go? <gasps> you stop. You say sorry. Say I'm too loud. I'm sorry. I just so excited. I see a person. I have to bark. I see a person. I have to bark. I'm just so stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> yes, my stupid baby. All right. Ow. Did you just take my headphones out of the... Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Lola. Ugh. Okay, let's return to game. Yes, Lola has scary bark, very scary, so tough. Such tough dog, very scary doggo. Okay, is it? The other room on the deck is nowhere. Okay, I guess I leave again. Was that not the room I needed to come to? Maybe it was this room. Hey, E.T. Aw, thank you. Lola is a sweet, adorable girl. Even if she's dumb and barks at everyone. <sighs> Oh! Wait a minute! The library clerk I just saw. She's dead as disco, it looks like.
Okay. So I think I need to go back to the library and office guy's room. I think I missed a key or something in there. Personal computer, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. Wow, the dude's like super dead. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I wonder if Barton's the bad guy. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there is anything else. What if there are clues? Oh, a key is inside the drawer. You have the collection room key. I am sure the collection room is in the back. Okay, so now I can go back here. Play Parasite Eve 2 next. I'll have to play the first one uh, first, but that is a good idea. That is a game I need to play. Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it is pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Is there not a, like a flashlight or something, or? Uh, where's the... Oh, I think I clicked on the door to leave. I meant to click on the aquarium, I guess. Oh! Wait a minute. Okay. Ah! Hurry up, lady. Okay, I think if I go in the reading room, there's a place to uh, recover from him, hide from him, whatever. Is he like a zombie or something? Did I just knock him out cold? <laughs> All right. Okay, there should be something, the statue or something around here. There are many ancient swords and other valuable artifacts. What about I use the sword to fight the man? How are all those giant statues carried in here? Um, where's the statue? Mr. Sullivan probably kept it here. The statue is with the other artifacts. Thank goodness there it is. You now have statue! Since I have what I came for, and all I have to do is find a way out. Nice! Oh, 
that's not what I meant to do. I meant to leave. Okay, uh, walk that way. So now we need to go back here and into the back office. Okay, what secrets are hiding back here? Everything seems normal. Okay. A rather primitive cop deer. They are obviously having budget problems. Wow, judgy. Just like at the university. Don't we all have budget problems? Can I look at that? No? Yes. There's some forms and loan cards on the table. What am I looking for here? Hmm. Check out the desk at the back left. Hmm. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Where are you? Oh, is it this one? It says he's in here somewhere. What if I move further over? Nope, it doesn't like that. It isn't working. I don't understand. I've checked all the desks. No one is here. Maybe this one? Is that a desk? Mm. What if I leave and come back? Hmm. It says, check out the desk at the back left to find Edward. I am not finding nobody. Hmm. All right, let's look at another guide. Let's see. Inspect the chair and you will find him. Well, which one's the chair? It's not giving me chair, it's giving me desk. Hmm. Let's look at this uh, video, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Where do you find Eddie? Where is the boy? 
Where? Where's the part where you go back there? That's that room. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, so you go back there. She enters the room. Okay, what do you click on? Where is the boy? I wonder, I don't think a cutscene triggered when we entered, did it? It's possible we need to do something else first. Have I possibly missed something? All right, then let's uh, see what I've possibly missed. Hmm. Maybe I need to examine the front doors and show that it's locked or something? Hmm. Been locked in. At this point, I think I'd just throw a computer through a window and go out that way. No, that way. Yeah, no cutscenes happening. So we have to do something else. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can I turn on the light? I guess I could try that, but it doesn't seem like it has any... Let me look back here. Let's look back at the top. Oh, okay. So I have to find Edward somewhere else first. I didn't trigger something, apparently. Apparently there was a moment earlier, I think when the dog was barking, that uh, we heard Edward's voice and we were supposed to go upstairs to find him. I did not do that. Whoops. Well, let's see if this still triggers. Helen? That is Edward's voice and it's coming from inside that room. That was a creepy way of saying Helen. Helen? Edward. Edward. Oh no. Ah! Run! Okay, well, this is not good. Go, 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 go! Open doors faster! Let's squish him! Mm. 
He makes some funny noises. Alright. Can I go back in? Because I kind of have to go back in. Like, I don't really have another choice. That's the next scene in the game. So let's find out what happens, I guess. There we go. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Here, hide in this room where it's still dangerous. You hide under this table until I call you. Why is that any different from where we were before? He was hiding in a different room under a different table. Be a good boy and don't worry. We'll make it. Okay. Looks like there's a way out for Edward. A vent. Covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Alright, so now I gotta find something to get it off. Alright, back to the elevator room. Go, go to the doors. There we go. Oh, good. A police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. Drive your damn car through the front door! There's so many people just on the other side of the door. <laughs> Alright, go in here. I like how we literally have to come back in this room to get the item that we need to get the kid out in the other room. It's so, okay. Very circular. Uh, one of these drawers has a screwdriver. One of the, if there's something useful. A uh, screwdriver! Alright, let's go save the kid. <laughs> All right, back to the kid. Uh, he was in here. Let's use screwdriver on vent. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Yay, we saved the boy. 
Dang, if I weren't so bootylicious, I could get out that way too. Well, that's not good. How do I... I meant to try to leave. I wasn't trying to turn on the power. Still can't save, so... Oh well. Okay, so now we're at... Uh, Jennifer again. Okay, what was her name? Jennifer... Something. Simpson. Intermission two, intermission three. All right, we are here. Hey, Jeff, I'm enjoying the game, it's fun. Uh, definitely campy and, and got some age to it, but I'm having a good time. So we need to go to the university research building. <laughs> yeah, the voice acting is bonkers, it's great. Teach! <laughs> Definitely an example of an era where they weren't quite yet sure how- how does do talk in video game? Gots was just questioning me. Okay. You aren't hurt, are you? No, I'm alright. I was also able to get the statue. Okay. If Helen got the statue, talk to her again to talk about the stuff. But more importantly, Jennifer, I found a clue to Scissor Man. What is it? I found out where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated here. They used to live in the Barrows Castle in England. The Barrows Castle. According to historical accounts of the castle, there was some kind of monster born there. Oh, goody. They must have found some way to destroy the monster back then. So if we go to the Barrow's castle, we might learn how they did it. That's what you hope. I want to believe we will if we try. I'll tell the others. Good. Be sure to tell Guts. He'll bug us later if we don't. We should also tell Professor Barton. Is he missing? I'll go now then. Okay. Norway Hotel. Lola. <coughs> Uh, Lola. Jennifer! Well, hello, Jennifer. Why was the boy alone when he was being hunted? I think we are getting close to discovering the secret to Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle, which is basically just Graveyard Castle. The Graveyard family used to live there. I see. I guess, I think it's spelled differently, but that's always what I think of. Okay, they'll join you. Kay doesn't put much of a fight. So Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. I would like to bring the child! Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but... Where I, was I able to get the first one? I have, I have it, but I haven't set it up to emulate yet. So I'm playing them out of order, but... I mean, I already played the third one, so... If we don't do something, he'll probably kill us, too. Hmm. May I go with you, Jennifer? I would like to be in danger. Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh, boy. 
Okay, Oslo newspaper, 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 newspaper. Yeah, America never got the original clock tower, which is why this one's called clock tower over here. Which must have been confusing as heck, seeing as this is a sequel that definitely builds on the first game. Jennifer! It seems Mr. Sullivan was killed by Scissorman! In the library. Technically, he was killed by a giant clock. I know, Helen was there, is that right? The police didn't tell us that much. Alright. Really? Yes, there is a castle in England! Yes, and we now know where it is. Is Barrows mentioned in CT3? I don't remember. Oh, I think you're right. I think it's it's spelled differently, but maybe it's meant to be the same family? Maybe? I don't know. We'll go to. Yeah, so we can die too. Yeah. I don't mind if you die. That's fine. I'm cool with that. You guys can die. <laughs> I would not feel safer, Mr. Creepo Weirdo. Okay, so now we need to go to go to the university research building. University research building. Jennifer, we heard you are going to the Barrows. Well, yes. We've decided to go with you, too! We also want to die! We're all extras! We'll all die! This will be a good chance to die! It sounds like we'll die. Alright, we got our whole team of sacrifices. <laughs> um, okay. Police station. Police station. Hi, Jennifer. I heard Scissorman's back. The media is going to jump all over it again. This indeed is an interesting case. I would love to see the Scissorman. Let me guess, you're coming too? Inspector Gotts, I'm going to England! It's, a, I don't know why that, that, okay. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There is a castle called the Barrows Castle in England. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man! The Barrows Castle. So that is where the Barrows used to live. <laughs> yes. I think so. Wait, oh. That sounds rather interesting. I too would like to go and die. I will accompany you. Is this why everyone in this game wears ascots? Because all their heads are going to get cut off. You're an important witness in the case. So I guess, uh, is he going to come too? Then come with us. There must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissorman! We might learn why by investigating the Barrows. He just likes cosplay. And giant scissors. Big fan of scissoring. Big fan. I'll go. But what am I going to say to my boss? You should say goodbye. She will not be coming back. You will be a hero if the case is solved. I don't know. As long as I ain't made a goat? What? As long as I ain't made a goat? Huh? Okay. Uh. So I guess now I need to go back to the research place and tell her I've talked to everybody.
Hi, Jennifer. I was just checking the number of people going to the Barrows. There are now a total of 10 people. They will all die. Bit concerned that some of them think this is going to be a picnic. Oh, well. They'll die first. We'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him. Me too. Okay. Oslo Airport. Oh boy! The sun is going down. Oh, we're driving. I wondered what was happening. Is that just what England looks like? It's covered in dots? It will be dangerous to move around in the dark. Let's camp here. We're camping now. Strange, where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Oh great, we're already missing people. He's looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Why did y'all rent an RV? Oh no, Jennifer is missing too. Let's take bets on who died first. The castle, hurry! Why didn't you just, if, if you're in running distance of the castle, why didn't you just go to the castle? Why are you camping outside the castle? Oh, we're at the end already. Hmm. What do you know? Oh no. How did that happen? Huh? I knew it was going to be something like this, but who, why him? Oh my god. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. <laughs> he told me to dress up like Scissor Man. Oh, damn. Ha! <laughs> Great. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> so, has the whole game been the fake Scissor Man and not the actual Scissor Man? Okay. That's fantastic. I knew there was going to be some kind of twist like that because of the, the whole bit with the missing scissors, but that's funny. Yeah! Everybody knows that clothing will destroy you! Okay, now I go back in. Several strange instruments. I wonder what they are used for. Torture? Okay. Search the clothes rack. Priest robes. There is something in the pocket. You have the stair key. Looks like the Virgin Mary, but something is very wrong. How spooky. What's wrong with it? You just said it looks like Mary, but not. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay. I don't know if I need this or not, but I guess I'm going to look around in here. Religious books from different countries.
Large, thick books. My favorite kind. Just looking at these gives me a headache. Weak. I don't like to read. <laughs> okay. I guess there's nothing in here. Maybe I'm already locked out of the other endings. All right. A chapel? Looks different from the ones I know. Let me guess, they worship Satan! Also, is that sword stabbing that man's dick? That's kind of what it looks like. Either the building's on fire, or that is some bad lighting effects. Some bad lightning sounds. This is a copper plate. I'm just gonna take that. The stars are on the plate. You have star plate. Cool. Um... Is there... What's that? Wooden pews. Oh no, there's a door. That's a fun looking image. Oh, damn. That stench. Jennifer, you're still alive. He sounds great for a guy that was laying on the ground. Thank heaven, you're all right. It's assistant inspector. Why does he keep saying that? I don't care what you want me to call you. I'll go and look for the others. It's assistant inspector. Anyway, be careful. Good lord. This writing is so bad. And we're just gonna lay him back down like a rag doll. Okay. Looks like that's something. Oh no, I think it's over here. No? Oh, it's a torture thing. Okay, that's the thing I need to interact with. S nope, not that. Nope, that. There we go. Ta-da! He just falls right on top of the dude and kills him. <laughs> oh, that would be great. I am very sad now that that's not what happened. Like, oops, my bad. I wish my house had weird, creepy s secret spaces. I want to crawl around in the walls. Go away, phone. Be quiet. This room isn't like the others. Okay. Um. Exit the room. Interesting that so many Japanese games like this is is this a Japanese game? It's a Japanese game, right? Yeah, because Clock Tower 3 was. Um seems like so many of them are like big on castles. Probably because I guess maybe it's a different style building. Like all their buildings are wood instead of stone. I wonder you you know, kind of find that interesting that that seems to be such a popular thing in these these games. Alright, looks at the bedside table. Oh, lovely! Yeah, that's great. 
An old newspaper, 1912. 80 years ago! So... I'm supposed to get a key! Where's the key? Oh no, I have to look at the other table. <sighs> I think the mouse ran in here. Why would you follow the mouse? Does the mouse have the key? There's a small hole in the wall behind the table. Am I sticking my hand in it? The mouse did have the hole. Oh, man. The mouse is the secret protagonist. It saved me. It's the reincarnation of one of the previous victims. Brought me the key to save me. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Yeah, it has a foreign mystique to it, but it's also a gothic horror fixture in the first place. Definitely true. But I do, I do wonder if some of that isn't also the like, huh, you know, it's different. Castles just work great for this kind of stuff anyway, because they're so old and cold and dark and, you know, it'd be a horrible place to live. Wood seems so much more homey to me. All right. Is there another door? Ah, weird looking door. Hello, Donoso, Adna, welcome. Oh, we're in a garden with what looks like a body person? Are you alive, sir? It's you, Jennifer. Professor Barton? Uh, is that it? Professor Barton? Barton? <laughs> I'm dying! I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna keep going. Um, where does it want me to go? The shadow and lighting effects in this are pretty cool. Hmm. What are you? Just trash? Okay. I'm afraid of ex like looking at anything in case it's gonna just trigger the guy to show up. Um. I guess I just won't look. I don't want him to come out and attack. Hmm. Canned foods. Delicious. I love my food to be swollen and distorted. <laughs> Is this my first Clock Tower game? It's my first classic one. I played three, and I've played Haunting Ground, which is, you know, spin-off, I guess. Um, I loved Haunting Ground. And I grew up, I loved three. As, as, you know, ridiculous as it can be, it's campy good fun. I've streamed both of those, if you want to watch me play those. The link's in the description. Um... Do I need to look at the floor? Oh god, no, what? No, no, no! Oh good, I've got the solid snake trick going. Uh, Heather, you can- Oh god, did that murder me? Uh, you don't have to tell everybody no spoilers. It's- it's cool. We're all just chilling. Um... 
So I guess the box is not a safe hiding spot. Come on! Won't even let me pull a solid snake. Um. Uh, look at the shelves to find a lever. There's a strange... Oh, oh, there! That's the strange floor tile. The floorboards are loose. Okay, I wonder if I can use those against him. Now look at the shelves. Which shelves? Aha! Those! Some kind of switch. Press it! Press the switch. Go into the hole. All right, I found their wine. Um, can I just drink my, my sorrows away? I feel like I deserve a drink after everything that's happened. It says I'm just supposed to try and leave. How do I go back and like... Huh? Um, examine the one that obscures the back of the room. Oh, okay, I have to look at the actual wine racks. Oh no. Oh good, it's a person! Lord. These lines, they're so good. So bad. So good, so bad. Alright, so I've talked to her. Um, talked to her twice. Okay. Listen, girl. If you want to live, get up and fight. We can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? To kick his ass. in a way out but if you really want to go take this key I found it a little while ago if I were being like hunted and murdered I feel like I sitting still would make me feel worse because then you're just waiting just like uh, like I would at least be walking around looking for something a tool a way out an ancient puzzle that Solving it seals him back in the evil dimension. Like, you know, something. Okay. Let's go poke around. <laughs> well, I'm slow. Okay, I think there's another door, maybe? No, it's the next room. Okay. Um, enter the thing and use the key. All righty. Da -da -da. Oh no, I'm not supposed to go upstairs. I'm supposed to go back downstairs? Um. Oh. I can't. I have to go up the stairs. <laughs> I can Because I didn't pick up the oil can. I have to go upstairs. I'm locked into this section. Okay. Bad ending. Here we come.
All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Want to go through a door? No, run, run, run! What? <sighs> I clicked for running and it didn't run! Alright, fine. If I come... Okay. Go, 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 go! Dummy! Why did you not go? I clicked the thing! Well, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Take two. Electric Boogaloo. Just... Okay, I have to click on the door to trigger him. Go faster. Woo, I did it. Oh, and there's a human. You found half of them. Scissor man attacked us and everyone scattered. That is not what the caption said. <laughs> Bye, princess. Thanks for joining us. Nolan, you've hurt your leg. Ah, well, the weakest link shall die. I've explored this whole mansion by myself. After I found and killed him. Oh. Yeah, that's... Okay! Was that the sound of me stepping on bones? I think that was the sound of me stepping on bones. Go all the way to the right and through the door on the left. All right, I've unlocked a door. Okay. Hmm. Books on philosophy. Lovely. Okay. At least if I have to die, I'm in a library surrounded by things I love. Books on alchemy. Damn, I want this library. Philosophy, alchemy. There is nothing here I can read. Oh good, foreign language books. That's always fun. There are many books with covers made of sheet copper. There's one book missing. That doesn't seem good. 
Um, there's a box on top of the bookcases. Look at the step ladder to reach the box. Is that a step ladder? I thought it was a chair. A footstool. Can I touch it again? Eh. Philosophy. Okay, that's not doing it. Hmm. I don't know what box it's talking about. Oh, there it goes. A box is on the bookshelf. I can't reach it. Hmm, I should have the genius idea of climbing. I am very smart. An old lambskin parchment, the Barrows family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation, of course. Quintin, it says traitor. I now have genealogy. Awesome. All right, keep going. Um, I think that's the door I need. Ah, we're back in the main hall. Um, hmm. Go to the first floor in the back left. Okay. You know, the one thing I wish this game had more of, which it probably didn't because it probably didn't have enough memory, was music. It's very quiet. And that works pretty well for the whole, like, you know, music shows up when the bad guy shows up, but... I don't know, I'd like a little bit of an ambient sound, and then the sound could, like, pick up when dude shows up. Going from, like, silence to sound is a little less fun. But it was probably either they just didn't have money for a full score, or they didn't have the memory, or what. Quentin Barrows! Ha! One shot at it! He is the 13th generation. He is the scissor man! A note is stuck to the back of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Oh, so he was a good guy? Hmm. Hmm. Devil children? So is there more than one? Is there some kind of ritual? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. All right, let's go back upstairs. Uh-oh. 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 Girl, run. Run, girl. Um, is there like a hiding spot? Um. Can I not go back in there? No, this way, girl, this way! Oh god, oh god. Get out, get out, get out! Um... Oh my god. Come on, can I hide in here? Yeah! The classic hide in the closet trick! There's no way he'll ever find me here! Oh my god, did it work? Oh my god, he's the world's stupidest murderer. In your face, scissor man! Is 
So far, nobody's died. Dang. Should have played worse so they'd all be dead. Alright, so there should be an item somewhere. I think you should keep these matches. Oh good. Matches? Maybe you'll need a light. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Alright. Let's check out this door. So far, nobody's died. I wonder how that happens. Do I just not check on them or find them fast enough they die? Hmm. Okay. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Use matches on candle. I like how I have a candle and I have matches, but I have to use the matches on this candle, apparently. Okay, maybe not that one. Oh, I have to put the candle. Ah, okay, okay. That's why you get both. Candle has been placed in the holder. Light it. Yeah, she's left like every dude we found. We found like six people and we're just gonna let them chill. They'll be fine. You now have mansion map. Alright, if you look, okay. Go through the door. Okay, so now we gotta go look at that fountain and find the secret passage. Is this the price? Mm. Go through... Go through the back. I think I went through the wrong door. Where was the fountain? Was it this door? Maybe it was this one. How can I play Silent Hill on PC? Uh, so, where, where was I? This is still not the fountain. Um. Go back the left door, through the door on the right, through the diamond-tipped door. Is this it? Uh, so, you're gonna want to try emulating. Uh, pretty easy, especially for older games. Uh, it tends to be a lot easier. Uh, I would look up uh, a guide to emulating. Uh, RetroArch is a really pretty decent emulator I've enjoyed using. PSX, I think, or PC something X will... Uh, play and emulate games uh, as well, I think. But basically, Google how to emulate a PlayStation 1 game, and you should find some guides that'll show you how to do it and uh, go from there. And then you would look for, like, P PlayStation ISOs. There's, there's websites that uh, you can use. I guess this key is not for that. Um, that's how I play my games. Okay, there are some vines... Click, click the second vine. Okay, vines. Uh, 
Oh, I think I need to go this side. There we go. Ta-da! Alrighty. Bye, bitches! I ain't even telling y'all I found a way out. Bye! Voice acting. Oh my god. Everyone else is already there. Uh, really? This sounds a little Oh my god, no. Oh my god. What? The kid! I wondered about the kid and devil children. It was the kid all along. That's great. I love it. This game's fun. We'll have to play it again sometime and try and actually get a good ending. Uh, especially now that I more know more about how to play it and what I actually need to do. But dang! <laughs> it's just a statue! <laughs> so, man, I, there's some interest- I have some questions now about the lore of this universe, which I'm sure the other games probably, presumably, answer. But that was fun! I enjoyed it! And we will play it again, eventually. Um... <laughs> <laughs> just stab and that's all you get that would oh man that would have made me so mad i'd be like what i did all of that and i just did i just did oh that was funny i knew i was gonna get the bad ending as soon as faku said i missed something i needed but uh wow that was legit bad i thought maybe she'd like escape but the the ghost wouldn't be exercised or something i don't know but anyway, that was fun. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do and you want to support it, consider becoming a member through Patreon or YouTube. You get access to 20 more Silent Hill videos, free copies of my books on Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, and lots of other stuff. Um, you can buy my books. I sell them physically and digitally on my coffee store. Uh, there's also a free document there about making Silent Hill that you can get. Uh, watch my new video because I'm very proud of it and I want it to succeed and I want it to get views. Um, I think that's everything. More stuff coming soon. I don't know what we'll stream next. I'm gonna keep trying to make Origins work, but I don't know when that will be. So, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.